have been with you for the past four days observing you know this solemn assembly and you have been able to bring you know reputable men of God and women you know to being a partaker of this I want you to briefly just you know tell us how did you get the inspiration and how were you able to you know bring in these men and women of God for this Okay, sure. Praise God. The Strategic Leadership Conference for Pastors and Church Workers is a commission the Lord has given to us to network all the children of God together, ministers of God all across the globe, and especially where we have to come together and seek the Lord together. And it has been a fantastic time in the presence of God. Uh, the Lord has used many of His key servants, and some of them are even here. On my right here is Pastor King the District Pastor of Living Faith Church, Winners Chapel Badagre, and Reverend Hugo Olusaya, a key servant of God in Badagri, and my maybe wife. I also is Reverend uh, Sosaya, who is called Jerusalem Pastor. He's one of the key counselors in the area of marriage and family issues in this nation. There are several ministers of God that have come to minister, and it's been a time of great impartation to lift our lives and our ministries up into a new level. That is the essence of this meeting. Okay, sir. So uh, you want to say that uh, this meeting has been a success? It's been, I think, from uh, people's uh, uh, response, it is uh, been more than a success. It's been wonderful. It's been a time of blessing, impartation, and uh, we begin to already experience various uh, testimony, like the case of a child of a pastor who uh, got missing for about 10 days. And at the beginning of this conference, the first day before we finished, the child was uh, recovered back. The father is right here. We want to thank the Lord for what the Lord has done. And uh, it's a yearly conference where pastors and church workers from all over churches come together for a refreshing, a sharpening, so that we can learn from one another and strengthen one another. All right, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to you. Then we come to the honorable men of God that we're able to you know, bring here today. So please, sir, what's, what's your you know, stake on, to, on this you know, just concluded? Uh, well, I believe this strategic leadership conference is timely because we are in the world of strategies today. And if we don't have strategies, we end up in tragedy. And it is a timely conference, and I believe the pastors and those who attended 
actually have imparted with grace, skill, and the strategies to make it a ministry and in life. So it's a resource. Oh, okay. And that is that. Uh, what, what do you have to say concerning the conference? Thank you so much. The church is God representative on earth. And God's move so there is a preparation for worldwide revival. And coming together to impart leaders to open their eyes for the new thing God is about to do is so important. And that God has placed on the heart of the servant to gather the church together. So he said, I think we the things God is about to do. And we're trusting God. Very, very soon, we're going to hear things, testimonies coming our way. What do you have to say? How do you feel after having been here all through the four days? In fact, yesterday, I was allowed to make my own presentation at the program. That yesterday, with what I saw, how to tell our pastor that that of next year, Myself and my wife and some of my pastors got to be here for the whole day. Because before I took my part, the part I met yesterday was so impacting. You know, one thing about leadership is that every organization rises and falls depending on the leadership. And if we don't train our leaders, then the church cannot rise. So I think it is, it is timely, and I pray that when next one will come, that many pastors will make good use of the opportunity, especially the kind of, the caliber of ministers that came to minister with this program. It's so impactful, and I pray that the Lord will continue to bless him and his wife for being a blessing for our generation.